On the issue of Mexico, you met with the Mexican foreign minister at the State Department this week. In that meeting, did you make it clear that the United States expects Mexico to pay for the border wall President Trump has proposed? No, we had no conversation about that issue, George. We were, we have had, uh, I think, very productive talks around actions that be, can be taken to slow and stem and discourage uh, transmigration of people coming from Central America through Mexico and entering the United States. And in fact, I know uh, you, I'm sure you've seen the data that is coming out and the level of immigration, illegal crossings uh, from Mexico, whether it's of Mexican nationals, but in particular of Central American nationals, has dropped dramatically. So I think Mexico is quite pleased and we've had a number of discussions with them on how we work together to continue to make uh, further progress. That's surprising to me, no discussion of paying for the border wall since President Trump spoke about it so often during the campaign. Is it the policy of the United States that Mexico must pay for that wall? Uh, George, it's just not part of our discussions uh, between the foreign minister and myself. We're also talking about how to organize an, an, a, even a greater effort around transnational uh, crime and uh, counter narcotics to stem the flow of narcotics uh, that flow into the United States uh, and the flow of weapons from the United States into Mexico that supports the cartels. So we're really focused on working at very high levels to address some of these problems uh, and challenges that are really in the interest of both of our countries to, to make progress on. Mr. Secretary, thanks for your time this morning. It's my pleasure, George. I wonder if you look, though, also at all the events this week, uh, Steve Bannon off the National Security Council, McMaster asserting himself as the National Security Advisor. You have Secretary Tillerson in that interview right there, fairly tough talk on Russia, completely dismissed the idea of Mexico uh, paying for the wall, General Mattis at the heart of these discussions on Syria. Are we seeing these outsiders assert themselves? Yeah, I think we're seeing a reversion to the mean. Uh, you're seeing a reversion to sort of uh, closer to the natural interests uh, of American foreign policy and to the uh, limits of what the American people are really ready to do and tolerate right now. You know, my friend Michael Mandelbaum said to me the other day that, you know, the biggest restraint on American intervention in Syria is democracy in America. The fact that uh, there's just a lot of Americans, and we see this in the Congress, that are wary of, of getting involved. So I think all, all that crazy rhetoric from the campaign uh, uh, you saw it on the paint for the wall in Mexico. Um, that will gradually be muffled out and faded away from. On the subject of Mexico, you heard Secretary Tillerson there say so he didn't even bring it up, Mexico paying for the wall when he met with the Mexican foreign minister this week. It seems like that idea of Mexico paying for the wall is dying a slow death. Well, we met with a foreign minister as well, and it did come up in our meeting. And uh, let me just say, Mexico is not going to pay for the wall. Um, and by the way, America should. We believe that's in our national interest to do so. But I do think there's a lot we can work on with Mexico. I think the Mexican government is open, for example, to renegotiating key points in NAFTA on intellectual property as an example. I think they have a real interest in their border security, in their southern border. I think Mexico is willing to be a partner in El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, the northern triangle countries that are a source of a lot of the migration that's coming in through Mexico. Mexico is as much a transit point now as it is a source of origin for people coming into the United States. I think there's a lot of military to military engagement with Mexico. There's, there's a lot we can work on together. I left that meeting, meeting uh, feeling pretty positive about what we can do with our relationship and, um, and I hope that's the direction it continues.